I'm not uh, I'm not that person for who forgets where he is coming from. Like it inspired me a lot. Like my mom always wishing me good luck and every that everything. from a poor family uh, with a single mother who, yeah with a single parent yes my father died in died in 2016 then uh, we lived that life in the community I mean uh, it's very de destructive like uh, when I, I wanted to, uh, wanted time to study I could go to school and lock myself in there and do whatever I want to do with my studies academically yes. I wish I can go to the University of Pretoria to study mechanical engineering and finish uh, after my degree and do the, all, 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 all that stuff to maintain my, my degree and uh, my career. When I got the call, me and my mom were preparing for dinner and then I was speechless, I didn't even know what to say, so I gave my mom the phone and then she was really proud, she was emotional and I didn't even eat the dinner. So I was so excited that I was full. I really think it is mostly hard work, discipline, doing your part, focusing, remembering what you are working towards so that you are able to remind yourself that this is what I'm working for, so I have to work hard. You sacrifice extramural activities so that you can put more effort into your studies and then you have to balance your subjects. You just have to give them equal time and equal attention. What are your plans for the future? Well, I'm planning on studying chemical engineering at the University of Pretoria. I plan to study computer engineering at either the University of Pretoria or Vets University and one day just be one of the best computer engineers in the world, changing the world in a positive way, developing um, machines to help people in any way that I can.